What is going on guys? This is Simon from SG and today we're gonna set up Stripe on our WooCommerce store. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and comment below your favorite payment method to use on WooCommerce. At SG, you can find all your videos you want for WooCommerce and WordPress. So make sure to hit that subscribe and hit that bell. Okay, let's get to it. So I'm gonna go to um, my plugins page. I got the uh, WooCommerce Stripe zip file and I'm just gonna go add new. Okay, and I am gonna go and I'm gonna find the zip file I have. I'm gonna click install now. Awesome, I'm gonna activate it. Sweet, so I'm gonna go to um, settings and I need to enable Stripe, right? I need to enable it, but before that, I need to get my API keys um, on, uh, on the Stripe website. So I'm gonna open up a new tab. I'm gonna go to Stripe, okay, and I'm already logged in. I'm gonna go to my dashboard. And I'm going to go to API keys, okay, and I'm able to, um, just by typing in and searching that API keys right here, that's how I got to this page, I'm able to review my live tokens and my test tokens. So I'm just going to um, bring this in. Sweet, so I need to put this live right here in this live publishable key. And then the secret key right here, okay. And then I'm just gonna click save because getting the, you know, the publishable key, publishable key and the secret key, I want to click save. And then if I want to do like test transactions, I'm gonna click enable uh, sandbox mode. And I erased that just because I had that in there previously. But in your guys' case, you can toggle this view test data, okay. And I can put my test keys in as well. Okay, and I'm gonna review the test as well. The test secret, as well as the test publishable key. Okay, I'm gonna hit save again. And now, um, if I go and I click enable Stripe, and I'm gonna go to a uh, checkout page on my site. You will see that if I click the option for credit card, I'm able to pay with Stripe. So um, with Stripe, you know, sandbox, we're still in sandbox mode. Um, you can do 4 2, um, 4 2, 4 2, like, you know, 16 digits. And then you can put in any expiry date in the future and any CVC code. And you can place an order. So I'm going to place an, a, a test order just as an example for you guys to see. Sweet, that order placed, you can see right here, you know, Stripe charge, but this was just a test transaction, right? So let's go back to um, the WooCommerce settings and explain more of, of these settings. So we have Stripe enabled now, but I want to go to live mode and I need to add this webhook endpoints. So I'm going to go back to Stripe and I'm going to search for webhook okay and I'm somehow on the test data but I don't want to be there I'm gonna go back to live data and I'm gonna add an endpoint and I'm just gonna copy this and I'm just gonna do all events or by default Sweet. So I have all events, and then um, I get this webhook secret, and I can click to reveal it and put that right there. Okay, I'm gonna click save. And now, if I go back to um, my checkout with the live mode on, so I'm just gonna re add another product to my cart. I'm gonna go to the checkout. You guys can see because. Um, I have, I have another option to, to check out, but this time it doesn't say test mode, so I actually have to enter in like a real card um, to, to be able to purchase this. So, and I turned on enable payment via saved cards, so 
I can see the payment method I used previously. So if cu your customers want to save their card on file, if they're using like WooCommerce subscriptions, or they just want to not always have to enter in their card, that's something they can do if they um, create a customer account in their checkout. So um, I'm going to go back here, and um, I want to put the statement descriptor just as you know, uh, SG Web. And so on like my credit card statement or on my you know bank statement if I'm checking out this the statement descriptor I'm gonna see. And let's say I want to also I'm gonna just do inline credit card form. I wanna save that. And now if I do that, it's just gonna show the card number and um, the CVC code and you know the year date in one um, one field. But I like it when it's when it's separated out, it makes it easier for people tab over in my opinion maybe you guys don't agree with that um, so let's go back to the checkout and let's say I actually enter like a real card um, and I'm just gonna do this live just to show you guys so I do think this is helpful this is like a prepaid card so if it doesn't go through bear with me but I think this should go through So I'm going to place an order. For one whole dollar. As you guys can see, my order was received. Um, and now if I go back to uh, my payments on Stripe and I click into here, ta-da, I can see that this was happened needing with the same um, card just now. So kind of cool. This is January, January 25th, 2020. Um, because I know and people are going to be watching this video because I did it so well uh, in a couple of years. So I just want to make sure the date. And then here's the date um, as well for my order. So that's showing up in my account. And as you see, they're going to get a, get a fee. And they don't take 33% every time, but that's just with so, so such a low amount, right? So... Sweet, and now I have the option to also refund this customer. So I can click into this customer, and I can click refund, and I want to refund this customer a dollar. So I'm going to eat the payment processing fee, but um, this is a mistake on an order. Let's go refund via Stripe. Awesome. Now Stripe's going to process that, that refund and they are, um, it's going to show up in the customers, um, you know, they're going to get that refund back. So you can do that all from the WooCommerce dashboard. So yeah, just to summarize, super easy to set up um, Stripe with WooCommerce. Uh, make sure you get this plugin. You can find the links, all the links in this video below in the bio. And if you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure to comment your favorite payment method in WooCommerce. And make sure not only to subscribe, but also hit that bell. So awesome. Have a great day, guys. Peace.